What is going on YouTube? It is Death Penguin back again for episode 7 of our Skyrim Let's Play series. Uh, today's episode, we're going to continue with the farm. Looks like we have to plant some crops. I usually like to go to the farms outside of Whiterun. I think it's the Battleborn farm. It's one of these two farms on the right of Whiterun because they have wheat. And wheat is your friend. Especially when it comes to making our own farm. Yes. Uh, we do need 10 crops, though, so... You're almost never going to find 10 wheat like, at any particular farm. Um, I say, usually say cabbage is like your second best bet. Just because I think it sells for like two or, two or so gold a pop. Um, I don't think this farm has it. Whatever. We'll do leeks instead. Just to get the ball rolling, kind of. I'll make it my farm, and then... We'll, uh, we'll go do some adventuring as well. Probably gonna take a break from the main quest line, go do some other stuff. Maybe... Uh, maybe play around with, like, some Creation Club content or something. That's kind of, like, my end goal. There's like quite a bit of I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the leaks over at a different spot than the wheat. I don't wanna have all my stuff. But uh there's quite a bit of Creation Club content that I haven't really gotten a chance to play around with. Um, I already did hire a steward. I almost always make Feindal the steward, uh, just because it's easy, and he's not a particularly great fo like, smile on follower mind. to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, so he wants us to hire a farmhand. As I said kind of in my uh, how to make easy money in this game video, um, from this quest you don't have to hire like the unnamed farmhands that um, you get from your steward uh, beggars and stuff are also able to be hired there has been talk amongst the gods I am. only if I but damn hey in the bannered mare there's Argonian ale I can almost taste it. so I like to do his quest first just to get the quest rewards and stuff from it and then you know go ahead with Oh. Okay. Well, they let me just take it without even stealing it. They must really, they must really love me here. But uh, because if you hire some farmhands, it costs you like two hundred. It costs you five hundred. That high well, Out the gate, you but if you just hire that. one at a time, it's two fifty each, and, and you only need one to friend. Here, do the quest objective. Here, healing potion. How much? For that price? Sure. So now, he now lives with you. He stays at your farm and everything, and he works for you now. Which is really cool. Uh, build a helmet. I think you need straw and stuff. I know you need nails. Everything. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. I know there's a couple things you need. Do come back. Got something to say? I think you need wood, actually, not straw. I'm an idiot. I don't looking to protect yourself. That's okay. Or deal some damage. I'll just buy all your iron ingots. Thanks. What I like to do firsthand too with the with the farm, it's nice having like a centralized point to like like smith and stuff so i usually go to my my steward and have him Divine add a, uh, of course 
What room would you area. like to approach? Oh, you have mm -hmm. to build that. Damn, I'm getting mistaken with... Yeah, I'm getting mistake. I'm getting mistaken with, uh... What's it called? If you hire a steward at, like, a... One of the buildable houses in the game. Then you... Can hire them to make a smithing quarters. I forgot on the farm you have to craft the smithing thing yourself. I'm an idiot. Just gonna chop some wood. I don't even know if I have a pickaxe. To be completely honest with you. I hope I do. Ah, oh, I hate this glitch. It automatically, like, resets you to continue chopping wood. My guy's not even holding a chopping axe. And there's not even a lot. I don't even think there's an actual wood log on that chopping block. I don't have a pickaxe. God damn it. That's frustrating. Forgot. I don't have a blacksmith's quarter, so I can't even build... I can't even make nails or nothing anyway. It's under building materials. I'll make a couple hinges, a couple iron fittings too. Real quick, we're gonna make a detour. We're gonna go down to Halted Street Camp because I also want a pickaxe. I want a pickaxe. Uh, I'm gonna get that transmute spell. Because I don't know of any other way in the game to get stone aside from mining it. You might be able to purchase it, but I'm not sure. I don't like purchasing it because usually you purchase it in bulk. And then you, you end up buying a lot more than, like, you actually need. And it's really annoying. Um, there's another thing I wanted to show uh, show you guys at Halted Stream Camp as well. That I didn't get the chance to show you in the, uh, the fast way to level up your smithing in Skyrim video. It's not related to the smithing. Uh, but it is related to Halted Stream Camp. Uh, which you have... You, which you go to for that uh, smithing trick. Um, it's a unique uh, woodcutter's axe that drops on one of the bandits inside. And I lost the opportunity to get it because I didn't grab it the first time. And their, their bodies despawned, so I couldn't, like, permanently wasn't able to get it. Blister War sells for 12 gold. I just shot that bitch in the face. In the face. Hello. You gotta feel pretty terrible about yourself if you're just like a bandit. Been robbing people, killing people for weeks, probably years, whatever. And then one guy strolls up in your camp and just kills everybody in like two seconds. Like just outbows everybody. Here because I know there's a pickaxe, like now I this is a surprise. Jesus. 
this place is also really good because there's just mad mammoth tusks here. I'm already carrying too much to be able to run. What do I have on me that weighs so much? Favorite way to kill everybody? Just shoot that pot up there. Because for some reason, they have their entire area just covered in oil, like flammable oil. Why? Yeah, so you get the poacher's axe. It's not anything particularly too crazy. Um, it just... Excuse me, sir. Fuck off. Um, it just does, like, a couple more damage to, like, animals. Which, I mean, honestly, it's, it's never something you're, like, practically going to use in, like, an actual battle with someone. Uh, but, I mean, I just figured if, you're, if you have to have a woodcutter's axe or if you, know, if you like to keep a woodcutter's axe on you, why not have one that's, like, unique, you know? It's kind of like my ideology on it. Um, damn, I have a lot of stuff on me. I didn't even realize it. Jesus. What am I doing? What's up with our stamina, too? Hopefully that will help the carry weight issue. Not really, because I still have. I still want to grab. Um, I'm gonna drop that only because I'd rather take these mana tusks. I still can't even carry them all. Oh, it's the dragon bones! I forgot I had these guys. That's probably what's taking up so much room and all these iron ingots and shit. Like, damn, I'm an idiot. Two end attacks do 15% more damage. And you save 15% or more on car insurance. Uh, uh, we'll drop that. Damn, dude. I gotta come back here. There's so much stuff that I can sell. To come back here at a later time. I'm gonna go. I gotta go sell some stuff, and then come back, and then hopefully I can still loot all those guys. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure if they'll despawn by the time I get back, but hopefully I can at least like loot the the chest and stuff. Cause all that stuff sells for like 500 gold, 900 gold. It's all really solid loot to sell. I'm gonna go sell some stuff before, because I'm not gonna be able to pick up any of this quarry if I don't. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. So the staff. Actually, let's get rid of the heavy stuff first. These dragon bones are what's killing me. Okay. Eh. Not great, but something. Huh? Wait a minute. Once I've made before my Ma and Da passed, I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth tusk. Will you do that? Thank you. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. There you go. If you ever, if you ever need to know, there are a couple people in the game uh, that you can give mammoth tusk to for his quest. There's another guy in Riften, I believe. The Argonian dude. That runs... That runs the black snow, the jewelry place. He he also asks for a um, for a mammoth tusk. Talk to dot dot dot. <laughs> Game's like I don't even know who your steward is, but talk to him. Cool. 
cool. So I'm gonna. I know I've built the an the animal the s animal pens already, like I was supposed to, but I wanna I wanna craft the rest of the stuff that you have to craft. Like I wanna have a blacksmithing station here because it's a pain in the ass. I always like go into a city if I need to build something here or something. I like to have like my, my own base of operations to. Cool thing about stone quarries too is they never run out of stone. So you can just always mine them. It's just an endless deposit of stone. That should be enough. I don't get myself in an endless loop of just mining stone, and I'll have like 95 pieces of stone in my inventory and won't know what to do with it. Let's build. How do I build this? Any more firewood? I need a lock. I think that means I need a corunda ingot as well. So you get this really cool blacksmith little gimmick over here, which is really nice. my steward. I think my game's like bugged. Cause it's telling me to talk to blank blank blank. They didn't even put a quest objective over his head. Divine smile on you friend. Very good sir. Certainly. What did you have in I'll keep an eye out for a good Is there anything else you need? Certainly. What did you have in I'll see to it at Is there anything else you need? Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll see to it at once. Is there anything else you need? Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Very good. Is there anything else you need? Of course. What Very good. Is there anything else you need? I don't even know how much money I have. What room Very good. I'm eventually going to run out of money. Else you need? Of course. What room? I'm sorry, but you. Is there anything else you need? Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm at my money cap. Uh, so it's got me waiting a couple days anyway, so I'm just gonna head over to White Run. I think for a lock you need a Corunda ingot and maybe a Steel ingot. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, um, so I can build the the quarters for like my steward and my farm hands and stuff. Yeah, just iron and grundum. So we gotta wait until day again. Got some good. I don't claim to. You popped up look. right in my face, right when I needed you. Oh, I thought grundum was more expensive than that. Don't forget to check inside. Let's build the shop. lock now while I'm already here. I just gotta mine like mad wood now. I like to just build all the upgrades for the farm because why not? I mean, especially if you're gonna be living there anyway, so might as well have it fully decked out. First time I'm I'm actually not gonna be mad that it put me in a animation loop for mining firewood. Alright, cool. 
Now that I've built everything basically that you need to build, it builds a cool little uh, bunkhouse. What I like to do, um, all smithing things, I like to basically put inside like my chest, like firewood, stuff like that, um, hinges, anything that like I don't really need to keep on me. Like, like obviously I don't need to be walking around with, like stone all the time. I can just come back and grab it. Some of this other stuff, like leather strips, iron ingots, my pelts, I usually like to keep them on me. Um, I usually make Divine something out of them. On you, Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. If I was a Nord, I would have took offense to that. So I guess we'll just wait a day and see if it's made enough money. Riverwoods. Very good, sir. Mm -hmm. My favorite drink. This is also like my favorite part too. I Down. ain't done nothing. I don't know why you keep talking to me, dude. I didn't do nothing to you either. Extra crops and stuff you spawn in here, like extra leeks and wheat and stuff like that, which is really cool because you can let it stockpile up and then you can just take it to a farm and sell it to your farm. It's really nice. <clears throat> There's... Let's go to White Run. This water's as stupid as our feud with Van Grey Main. What was it doing? thinking oh let's go get a let's go get a new follower let's go get lydia now where does lydia hang out honored to see you lead the way let's go So we're going to go do this quest now. We're going to go get the Bow of Shadows. Because even though I'm not a stealth-based character, it's still an insanely overpowered bow. And it's one of those things where I can, I can do it real quick before uh, we end the episode off. just steal her business copy her business ledger just right off the table right in front of her hey just let me know if you need anything yeah i'll just be taking this like i said before in that video as well ignore the talking to the holiday you can if you want um i don't personally think it's worth it mostly because like these creation club contents don't really add much in terms of like dialogue so you're not really going to get any cool dialogue. He's he's probably just going to give you a note, honestly. If I remember correctly, he just gives you like a note. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's... You, you have to go to the stables to continue the quest.
this is the most like exploration point of the whole quest is essentially coming to the Silent Moon's camp and you like really read a note. You don't even actually go inside the camp. I say, I mean, honestly, I would say if like if you have the Croatian Club content, do the Boa Shadows quest as quick as you can. Um, really easy to get. Um, I, I probably showed you guys. Yeah, I don't remember which episode it was. It was like one or two before this one. You literally just talk to the steward in, of Whiterun. And you just ask him if there's, like, available work for you. And he'll tell you, uh, yeah, it's all in this note. And then you read the note, and then he tells you about how there's an assassination plot against the Emperor, or the Jarl. And just follow the quest objectives. The bow starts off at, like, 25, like, damage per second. Like, even at, like, level 1. It's insanely powerful. Like, I think my hunting bow only does, like, 10. And I've put perks in the tree already. Yeah, it does 11. So, for me, the Bow of Shadows, if I had to make a guess right now, would probably be doing anywhere from, like, 26 to 28 damage. Like, right off the gate. Right off the gate. No improvements. Um, nice thing, too, is that its ability is not enchanted. It's, like, one of those, like, permanent enchants that doesn't have, like, a recharge or anything like that. So you can improve it regardless of your smithing skill. Um, even if you don't have the perk that allows you to improve... Um, weapons and armor that are enchanted. You can still improve it, because it's not technically enchanted. Um. Oh, that would have been badass if I would have known. That way I would have hit her. And you get free ebony arrows from the quest as well. With that being said, be careful, because uh, one of the guys you can fight at this bandit camp uh, he does shoot band uh, ebony arrows at you as well. I'm pretty sure I just got hit by one. Yep. Yeah, I knew there was... It was one of the bandits that says inside that little area. Um, and be careful too, the guy, the guy himself, he... And then there's ebony arrows all in there as well. But don't forget, if this is your first time coming to uh, this place, read the stuff on the Lunar Forge. Take all the Lunar Maces, because they're all enchanted. Free extra money. Flawed Parlor Stone. What? What? What the hell? Those are from Oblivion. Those are the things you find in the Alien Ruins. In oblivion. So far, the only thing that I've seen that was related to oblivion thus far was uh, was the what's it called? The there's a quest about goblins where you kill a bunch of goblins and they're they're painfully easy. But then you get, like, a little goblin companion, which is really cool. I'm gonna save before I fight him, because he does do a ridiculous amount of damage. But I have an idea. He sits on the edge of the balcony. I wonder if I can Fusro die him, like, right off the edge and just kill him immediately. That's awesome. Oh, he lived. That's insanity. Yeah, 30 damage. That's crazy. The game didn't even register that he died from that fall. I think his whole body was just in shock for about two seconds, and then I had to like hit him an extra time for him to be like, Oh yeah, I'm dead. The Jarl is as you... Excellent. Oh yeah, I forgot to kill the bandits of Valtium Key. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Cool. I got 500 gold as well. Um, keep in mind the Boa Shadows does take ebony 
ingots in order to improve it. Cool thing is, is you can actually just kill this guy without any like legal repercussions. It's just this random Dunmer dude. Hey man, I killed this guy. What do you think about that? It's crazy, right? Yeah. What are you doing that for? Um, you know. It's the fun of it. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. What are you doing that for? Yeah, look, dude, he's just sitting on the bench. You see that, Lydia? He's just sitting on the bench. He's chilling. He had too much to drink. Uh, okay. I'm gonna leave now. Watch the skies, traveler. It's just what? You're an idiot. <laughs> Need supplies? See Bellator at the store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stuff. It's so weird if you talk to somebody and then immediately go out a door, that person like follows you out the door. Like whoever the last like NPC you talk to, they'll just follow you out the door. And continue talking to you. Everything alright? Um, I just killed a man. Aside from that, everything's going alright. What's that girl? It drives me crazy you don't wear the steel armor with the shoulder pads. I'm gonna have to fix that. As a matter of fact, you're getting steel soldier armor. We'll do that before ending the episode off, because... What's up, dude? Well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Bitches. Truly? Best head up to Dragon's Reach, then, and see the Yarrow. Got some good pieces oh, I can't out jump there. on your shoulders, that sucks. More inside. Oh, Jesus. My bar went a little faster than I thought it would. Yeah, I'm gonna make her some new armor, because she needs it. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Come on. Can you can you walk in the parameters of your forge real quick so that I can talk to you? Because right now you're wasting my time. Where are you going? Okay. Hi. Have you met my father? He's a steward of the Dragon's Reach. Don't forget to check inside the shop. If you need Her eyes went up. You tried mercenary work? Like she was following the shout and then just looked back down. I love how nobody else cared that I just did that. Like everyone's just kind of just like, yeah, that's what you I think did. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything. Like, it's homie's first time being Dragonborn. He's still getting stuff figured out. Uh, is there anything else? There's something else I wanted to sell. I think I only need ten. Ten should be fine. Mm hmm. I need more leather strips. Good thing I got mad leather in my inventory. I've got your back. Can you fuck off, Lydia? Yes. I'm trying to do something real quick. I probably it's too much leather, but or leather strips, but that's all right. Ah, oh, ten wasn't enough. Need some the finest weapons and armor. So, I'm gonna do. Ooh, I'm gonna buy all nine. Fuck it. Alright. Because I'm gonna wanna improve it too, and I wanna improve my own armor. Even though I can't really even improve it that much anyway. Because my smithing skill is like. stupid Happy. low. That's alright. Oh, Jesus.
sick. Lady, look what I made you. Right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Don't sound so miserable. Look what I'm giving you. I'm giving you all new armor. Look at you. You looking fresh as hell now. Is that your skin? Lead on. Huh? Oh, that's part of the armor. I was like... The armor, like, completely changed her skin tone and everything? I was like, that's kind of insane. I gave you a full set, right? Good. What kind of shield is that? Still here. I am at your command. It doesn't even tell me. You lead, I'll follow. There's only one way to find out. I think that's iron. Uh, no, that is a steel shield. Huh. Interesting. I don't claim to be you know, the best swords, right? Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to end it off here. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, I have noticed in the past couple days, um, some of my videos are getting a lot more views than I would have thought. Um, which I know like, you know, 8 to 10 views isn't a lot, but you tried mercenary? You know, it's still insane, you know, coming from my perspective. You know, being brand new on YouTube and only having like 12 videos. The fact that anybody is watching them is honestly insane to me. So I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Um, still formulating more ideas for uh, more like tips and trick videos on Skyrim. Probably going to be doing some tips and trick videos on Fallout 4 eventually here. Um, the main trick is getting Fallout 4. <laughs> I have to rebuy it again on Steam. I could technically play it on the Game Pass version, but uh, for free. But I don't know. I've heard some people say the Game Pass version on PCs doesn't really run the best. It's apparently not very good. So probably some more content in that realm coming soon. Um, but like I said, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video.